Non-contact measuring systems such as laser scanners capture large volumes of point data during the acquisition stage of the inspection process. This point data is commonly known as point cloud. Scanning systems can be used to provide rapid measurement of complex surfaces or even to reverse engineer parts where no CAD data is available. In this tutorial, we will show you how to acquire, manage and extract measurements from point cloud data. We can acquire point clouds directly by connecting to one of the large range of devices supported by our software. Alternatively, data which has been captured using a device's proprietary software can be imported into a new PowerInspect session by simply selecting the From File icon from the Point Cloud tab. Due to the nature of scanning, it is highly likely that point data may be collected from objects unrelated to the measurement. This data should be deleted so it does not influence the inspection results. PowerInspect has a variety of picking tools that we can use to select the unwanted data. Here, we'll use the lasso to draw our selection, then simply delete the selection. Point cloud data can be filtered by distance between points, curvature or tolerances to reduce the amount of points we want to work with. This is useful for managing very large point clouds where points can be removed without reducing accuracy or for speeding up calculation of an alignment. Now that we've filtered the point cloud, we'll project it onto our CAD model. This displays a visual comparison of the measured data against the CAD surface, with the color of the points representing the degree to which they are in or out of tolerance. Point clouds can also be used to evaluate geometric features, both with and without corresponding CAD data. When working with CAD, geometric items are selected using the wireframe checker. In this case, a circle, and the type is then set as point cloud circle. The measured values are automatically extracted from the point cloud data, which we imported earlier.